Hey everybody, I'm Tim Sanova, and I'm here with Katrina Donald. We're excited to teach the inclusive hiring course that's going to be in April 2022. And thought we'd just like explain a little bit about what it is, how it came to be, and what you can expect if you sign up and participate in the course with us. In April, Katrina and I are teaching inclusive hiring, reimagining the search process. And it's based on our work to really think about how do we create a search process a hiring process, a way of recruiting and onboarding team members that centers our values, centers our values in equity, inclusion, anti-racism, anti-oppression, justice. Because for the most part, many organizations are using search processes that are pretty dusty. Like they really haven't changed much since you know, 1982. So you know, 40 years later, we're sort of all using the same thing about how do we hire and how do we search for candidates and bring them in. And so we want to take a moment to be with a community of people who are all interested in this. And so we can wrestle with questions like how might centering equity and inclusion inform the way we craft job descriptions and posi position postings, or how might we live our values to create inclusive and transparent selection processes. Like what does this actually look like in practice? How do we maybe pull apart our hiring process and then rebuild it together and center these values as a way that can then inform the way we do search in an organization? So this is what we pulled together. We're, we're gonna go step-by-step step through sort of a traditional Western management-based hiring process. And at each stage really ask ourselves to begin again. To, to really say like, if we did that thing and we centered equity, what might that look like? If we change how the job offer is negotiated to center justice, what might that look like? And this is what we're really excited about having spent years really in traditional hiring, traditional search and recruitment, then expanding into reimagining executive search, doing um, con consulting with organizations that are trying to reimagine it and thought, let's just pull together a course, pull together a community that spends April 2022, four weeks over that, that month and, and including a mighty network where we're gonna have a, a robust community conversation and just see, see what happens and see what organizations see what people can bring from their organizations that informs the conversations and what organizations are currently hiring and, and use those as case studies to reimagine what this looks like for our organizations and, and how it operates. We're gonna tackle this in four modules. So in mod one, we're really gonna be sort of introducing that arc. We're gonna be talking foundations and fundamentals. So how do we approach a traditional search? Where are these kind of big moments that you and I have really started to unpack? How do we talk about what kind of resources are required and where you know, different parts of, of the process require different kinds of heavy lifting from different people in the organization? We're gonna look at the position description right from its first step. We're gonna say, what is this trying to say? What is key for this role? What are we really looking for when it comes to the KSAs, to those knowledge, skills, and abilities that are required to be successful in this role? In mod two, we'll be crafting position descriptions, talking about sourcing and outreach. We're gonna be looking at giving some feedback about position descriptions that you're creating. We'll be looking at you know, who, what, and where when it comes to sourcing. Who are we trying to attract? In what ways are they gonna be best able to take in the information about the role and about the opportunity? And where do we post? How do we make use of all of the brilliant networks of our communities, of all of the people that that um, are around and surround the, the role that we're, we're looking to fill. In module three, it's all about interviews. So we'll be looking at how do you design an interview from start to finish? How do we really understand the kinds of investment that's required from candidates from each phase of the interview process? How do we go about question development and really understanding some practical scenarios that are applicable to the role? and how we lead the conversations around those scenarios within an interview context so that we're really learning and hearing from the candidates. One of the other things I'm really excited about, we'll be talking about in the third module, and that's this idea of creating a candidate waiting rubric. 
So we're going to be going back to those KSAs when we design the interviews in the mod before this one. And then we're going to take those questions, scenarios, those KSAs we want to learn about, and we're going to be designing a tool for reflection and a tool for learning about how the different candidates are really supporting our understanding of imagining them in the role. And in module four, we're going to bring it all home. We're really going to land that plane. So we're going to talk about reference checks. We're going to talk about the offer stage. And we're going to be talking about onboarding. We really want to think about what it's like to enter into the organization, to be showing up on your first day, who you meet, what you talk about, how you're structured for learning and set up to get right to it. It's taking care and being thoughtful about that entry point that we really realize, you know, what we need to do to set candidates up for success, what the role of the organization is for setting those candidates up for success. Two things that I'm particularly excited to explore with the class um, are around the sourcing and the network mapping, and then the scenario creation for the interviews. I think those are two moments that you really can bring in different things and make this experience feel different for candidates and for the organization. And there's a lot of creativity that can come in. Like, how do you how do you map your network? How do you approach this as like a marketing campaign to find candidates who align with your organization, what your organization needs, what your organization values, and then how can you use the interview stages to really shift the power dynamics of traditional hiring processes and then create these moments where you can explore how candidates would approach the challenges that they will face when they're in the role rather than these tell me about a time questions or how many ping pong balls can fit in a school bus. Talk about scenarios that this role actually will have to wrestle with, and then you can engage in that kind of conversation to give both the candidate a better sense of what this role will entail and the hiring committee a better sense for how they would work together with the various candidates. So those are two places where I think there's a lot of creativity that can come from reimagining what that looks like. And so for me, I'm really excited to, to explore this with the the class to see what new things can come up and how in working together, we create stuff that we didn't even know existed until we come together as that class. Katrina, what are you excited for as you look toward the class? Yeah, thanks, Tim. There are two things that I'm the most excited about for this course to run in April. The first thing is just getting all of these brains in the room to talk about inclusive approaches to hiring. I think understanding you know, different perspectives of where organizations are really re ready to tackle this work and where organizations may be feeling a little bit more pushed with some of the things that we'll be discussing. So I'm really, really interested in all of our participants bringing their kind of best understandings of their organizations and the process that they most typically use to approach hiring in their organizations. Because it's in thinking about how we usually do it that we really learn where to pause and where to rethink or reimagine at all of those stages. Another thing I'm really excited about is actually talking about this idea of selection committees. I've seen so many interesting ways of, of running interview processes. And really, the most exciting part for me is the selection committee. It's bringing diverse voices and perspectives from across the organization and really imagining how do we bring this person who occupies this role in the organization with all of their knowledge, skills, and abilities, how do we bring those people into the conversation around hiring so that we just get this rich and robust um, conversation, debrief, dialogue that comes out of these uh, selection committee meetings. If you're excited about this, if you want to dive into it, if you want to reimagine what search, what hiring can look like when it centers our values around equity, inclusion, justice, anti-racism, anti-oppression, there are just a few days left to register for this course. You can go to workshouldsuck.co and at the top of the website, there's a bar that will take you directly to course registration. We look forward to seeing you online and in this course and exploring how we can reimagine search together.